This is Twit. Casey, yep. Elisha, or uh, yeah, Elisha Bailey, Bellevue. Now this says Bellevue, du- Nebraska. Via Twitter, Steve, wasn't there going to be some quick talk over jailbreaking at the end of the Iowa security episodes? The time ended up running out upon. Yes, indeed. So, okay. In fact, you know, as I was as I was listening to your commercial with one ear, uh, I was thinking, you know, my comment about the patch that just was issued where a local application was able to obtain kernel pointers uh-huh. and i even even then i said well that's kind of the way a jailbreak would work i wouldn't be this the is to least block jailbreaks su- yep yes i wouldn't be surprised if if no i mean if that if that update blocked a an effective jailbreak that's they that do is, that all the time Yes, and so so that's a perfect example. So, in the three weeks that we that we covered iOS security, we basically looked at this, you know, soup to nuts, you know, amazingly aggressive security architecture which Apple has put in place, where you know from the moment the power turns on and the 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 boot kernel checks the signature of the code in memory before it loads it and then it loads it and runs it and it checks the code of the next thing so you get this chain of verification and you know replete with all the other checks that we talked about the, the this is specifically to prevent things like a jailbreak to to prevent applications from doing anything wrong so the question is how then can they? And it, it was, and I'd never really focused on jailbreaking. It just wasn't something I'd looked at before. And, and we hadn't had any, any. I, I had had no need to go dig into it. But reading these documents, I found myself thinking, well, wait a minute. How, how do you jailbreak in that case? And the answer is exactly what we would expect. There is, it's one thing to have a, a bulletproof, perfectly worked out design but you also have to have a bulletproof perfectly worked out implementation and we know how diff i mean open ssl is an example of you know a i mean and and in 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 tls we're still finding little edge cases where tls you know like it's like something we didn't think about in the protocol. So it's possible that the, that the design can be wrong independent of the implementation being right or the design can be solid and the impl- implementation can be wrong. So jailbreaks leverage mistakes, even tiny mistakes, I mean, like, you know, infinitesimal mistakes, little chinks in the implementation of the architecture that we covered, which looks absolutely bulletproof. And and a perfect example is the one we read where a local application manages through some oversight, either in design, which is still possible, or in implementation, to get some information that allows it to, to bypass the mitigations that Apple has put in place. And that thus a jailbreak. It gets some foothold and is then able to like, for example, if there was any way that an application could get enough privilege to change one byte on, you know, like one byte in storage, for example, the the the, the byte that verifies the signature, somewhere there's a byte that, you know, is doing Ultimately, after all this fancy, amazing crypto, it comes down to a jump, you know, to a conditional branch, equal or not equal. And all you have to do is change a bit in order to change that from an equal to a non-equal. And in doing that, in changing that bit, you have broken the signature. But now you've also changed the test to make sure it's broken rather than to make sure it's not broken. So... That gives you a sense. If, if there's if there's any way to change what Apple intends, that's all it takes. And so it's been a cat and mouse game. The major work that Apple did when they released version six 
was primarily focused on security improvements to prevent jailbreaking. And 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 the the people in the community who were either watching the jailbreakers or enjoyed the challenge of trying to jailbreak you know iOS and iPhones um ended up concluding that iOS 6 the mitigations in place significantly raised the bar on what it took to jailbreak and that many of the old tricks didn't work um uh, and many of the bugs, which were once reliably exploitable, just no longer are. So, so basically, that, that you know that finishes our coverage of <laughs> iOS and jailbreaking. It's it's and, and I like my little example of just one bit flips the sense of the jump so that it verifies the signature. Now it verifies the non-signature, which you also get because of the of, of of the change of the bit and then I, I should say then you go make other changes that you want to in the code to give you the access that you right. want that's why you then have the user reboot the phone and up oh, look it comes up Ooh. broken uh, somebody's saying that's that's what you do to uh, break or used to do to break copy protection on disks you'd use a hex editor you'd look for the copy protection code and you just jump yeah, you just, exactly. You just I, say jump around that. <laughs> there was there was a really really good friend of mine who who had a dongle protected um, a dongle protected vertical application program. It was like it was for like embroidery graphics or something. I mean, really obscure. Uh, the dongle literally like got fried. I saw it. It was like charcoal. I don't know what happened, but something cat catastrophic and the company was gone. They were out of business. And so he, uh, and he was actually one of my very best friends. And he said, Steve, you know, we bought this. Here's the what's left of the dongle, but we can't get it replaced. The company's gone. And so I rolled up my sleeves back in the, 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 the those were back in the DOS days with DOS with, with uh, soft ice and stepped through and found the test and just removed the branch, yeah. and then it worked. You know, yeah. I mean, that's the problem: is that this the, all software has an Achilles heel like that, and and this is why Apple's challenge is so great: is they have to be perfect, and yeah. they're they're getting much closer to it.